Hey guys, what is going on? It is RC Knockout, and I am back with another video. Now, if you are new to my channel, my name is Nolan. In today's video, I am going to be swapping a new, more powerful motor into my HPI Baja 5B. Now, some of you may be saying, Nolan, we just watched you fix that motor in the previous video. And me, myself, thought I fixed it as well. Uh, the issue is, I went out to test it, and I am pretty darn confident that the rings are gone on that piston. And the thing just has no torque. It revs to the moon, but none of that power gets to the wheels. So I'm pretty sure the thing's down on compression. The simpler fix would be to just, you know, pay 50 bucks, maybe less than that, to get a new cylinder, a new piston, and new rings, and swap that out. But like I said, I want more power. And I have got another more powerful motor sitting around. So in today's video, we're going to be swapping out that 29cc dynamite motor for a much more powerful 30.5cc OBR full mod Zenoa that I had laying around. Let me show you. So I've had this bad boy laying around for a while. This right here, like I said, is a 30.5cc OBR full mod Zenoa motor. Uh, the exact same motor, actually, that is in my HPI Baja 5T. Puts out about 7 horsepower. Uh, this is actually the motor that I took out of my 1 5th scale low C 5T. Um, there's some things I have to do. Obviously, I'm going to switch the spark plug out of that motor, which is brand new. Put in this one. I'll have to check to see if the pull start's still good in this one. Uh, hopefully, this, I think this is a 990 carb, will be all right. It could be gunked up, though. Uh, obviously, going to switch the air filter off of that motor. Have to get this low Z exhaust off. Have to get a stop switch in here. I'll take it off of there. Uh, it's still got the Super B kill switch attached, and I have to get this uh, clutch housing off. But uh, this is pretty much just going to be a time-lapse video, because uh, I'm not going to show it in depth. I'm just going to tear that one out, get this one slapped in, and hopefully get it running. I'm pretty darn sure this one's in good condition. I pulled on the pull starter. The thing has really good compression. It ran pretty good when it was in the low Z5T, but it seemed like I did have issues after like running it for 20, 25 minutes where it would start dying, but I'm pretty confident that's a tuning issue and the motor itself is good. I'm super excited because this thing's absolutely gonna rip with this motor in it. So uh, let me go ahead, set this camera down, and we'll jump right in the time lapse. Alrighty guys, little update. Uh, it is many, many hours later now, and I've just gotten everything swapped over from this motor onto the new OBR one. I do feel foolish though, because looking at this clutch, there's no material on the top part of that clutch on those clutch shoes. So this motor is probably fine. It was probably just the clutch, and I feel really foolish. Um, the reason I never checked the clutch was because a couple of the screws on the clutch bell were completely stripped out and that's why I didn't check them and I just assumed the symptoms why it was revving and not getting the power to the wheels was because the piston rings had given but turns out it was probably just the clutch shoe material that had worn down so this motor is probably perfectly fine I've had to swap a whole bunch of stuff off of this motor onto this one I swapped the coil because as you can see this OBR one is cooked and I don't want to try to use that coil, so I swapped the brand new one onto this uh, OBR motor. Um, I swapped the kill switch off of this motor onto this one, because the one on the OBR motor was the buttons completely gone. Also, I had to swap the carb because I accidentally melted uh, the plastic piece 
The plastic piece on the 990 carb I melted, so I had to put the 668 carb on. And I also stripped out multiple screws on that clutch housing. So I had to, I had another clutch housing sitting around, so I put a new clutch housing on. But just all these bolts, uh, some of them I don't think I had even touched, but they were just so difficult to get out because they were like seized. I don't have a brand new clutch on here, but this one has material on it. It's in much better shape than the one on the 29cc. I think that's everything that I swapped over. Uh, also, I took that time to clean the chassis the best I could. So I took the receiver box out, I took the gas tank out, cleaned everything with the uh, degreaser and actually brake cleaner. But uh, let's go ahead and jump right back in the montage. Alrighty guys, I am finally finished. Uh, that took way longer than I thought it would. I bet you I was working on that for over five hours. I'm exhausted. I'm tired of even looking at this machine to be honest, but we got the OBR motor in. Um, the biggest issue was just strip bolts. So unfortunately putting it back together, um, I cross threaded that screw right there. I tried to get it in by just loosening this up and moving the brake pads out of the way. Unfortunately, it went in a little bit crooked and it's cross threaded in there and I just left it because otherwise you have to take this whole upper plate off that's probably the worst design on the Baja is why you put this right behind this brake assembly I don't know because even if you take the brake assembly off it's still blocked by the upper plate I probably should have just done that but um, the unfortunate thing is I think it's slightly pushing up against that brake pad it seems to roll pretty easily so I'm not going to worry about it um, like I said, I did have to put the 668 carb on. Hopefully that'll do all right. I am crossing my fingers that this thing's gonna start. I just put some gas in it. Let's prime her up and see if she'll start. Uh-oh. What the heck? Oh, no. That's plugged in. Let me investigate that off camera. 
Well, guys, I just messed with the uh, receiver a little bit in there, just pushed down on all the plugs. And now we've got steering, we've got throttle, we've got brake, and kill switch works. So uh, let's uh, give it a try and see if it runs. Let me prime her up and hopefully she starts. Make sure the fuel is going through that line. Give her plenty of fuel. I actually don't remember which way choke on and choke off is. I think that's off. I think down is on. Well, she started for a second. That thing is throaty. Wow. That is way throatier than it was with the uh, 29cc. Try it again. Might have tried off camera, guys. I can't hold the camera and try to pull the start. All right, guys, she is alive, and it is loud. All right, I messed with the tuning a little bit. Uh, a little too high idle still, but... Um, Let's see how she rips. Oh, she's a ripper, guys. Still bogging a little bit. Try launch. This thing is crispy, guys. I'm liking it. Wow. Still bogging a little bit, the tiniest bit. something jammed up and my guess is the way that jammed up something jammed it in here something made that jam hopefully we didn't do anything to the transmission but uh she was running pretty crispy guys i'll have to investigate that but i'm actually pretty happy that uh i actually got the thing running and running pretty decent so if you guys did enjoy this video hit that like button make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell and stay tuned for the next video later